My name is Lebadim, and I'm here to refute the claim that the Bible is from an all-knowing source. I firmly assert that the Bible is a product of man, and it should be seen as such. Now, let's look at what the product of man looks like. First and foremost, a product, or sorry, a producer is defined by his product. Like Leonardo da Vinci is a good artist because his artworks were good. The artworks made him a good artist. He wasn't called a good artist because he's da Vinci. And then he wasn't called a good artist with bad artworks. Now let's look at it. In the Bible, the limitations of man were reflected all through. And I'm going to use just one instance to explain that. And let's see it for what it truly is. Now I'm going to use ascension. Now in those days, there was no signs, no astronauts to go and prove that the earth was spherical. So the Bible was written on the assumption that the earth was flat. Now it is ref that is reflected in the claim that Elijah, Jesus, Enoch ascended into heaven. Now, the Bible made us understand that the, the heaven is actually a single place. So, it has to, it should be an all road lead to one direction thing. But it isn't when you subject it to scientific inquiry. Now, the earth is very spherical, something like a ball. Now I'm going to use my watermelon and demonstrate something. Now let's look at it. This is the watermelon. Now, this is like a ball, like the earth. We are kept and maintained by gravity. Now to look at the earth from a two-dimensional perspective. Now, being round means there are 360 degrees which means 360 different directions now we are actually here some here others here the rest down in different directions if we are going to look at it from a two-dimensional perspective now if jesus was here if he's going up the direction is going to be something like this continuously continuously now if elijah was here the direction he is going to is going to be like this straight up so you can see that his direction is totally different from that of Jesus. There are 360 different directions when you keep going into space. The farther you go into space, the farther angle 1 goes from angle 2, angle 3, angle 4, and all, all, and all that. They keep going apart, apart, apart. And this clearly shows that they are not going to the same direction. Now, the earth in itself is not static. It keeps going turning round. So for it to be possible for them to go to, into one direction called heaven on a spherical earth, they have to be in the same place at the same time, at the same season and all that. Now let's look at I sliced the watermelon into two and since the earth actually looks to a human eye flat, we have to look at up and down as being relative on a spherical earth since we have the scientific evidence now. Now, up and down is actually determined by the positions, by, by various positions or body parts in our body. Now, I'll look at anything above my head as up. Even when I'm lying, when somebody says look up, I'm going to look 
the direction above my head. If it says look down, I'll look the direction below my feet. Now, I sliced this watermelon into two. And uh, if we have to look at up and down on a spherical head. Now, if I'm standing here and I'm asked to go down below my feet, I'll go this way. That's down for me. If I'm going up from here, this is the direction I'm going. Now, somebody standing on the opposite direction, 180 degrees from me, huh? if he's going down, he's actually coming like this. And then going up like this. Which, when I was here, I regarded the direction he saw as up, as down. And he's regarding mine as down. Like, something like, he's going down, same direction that I used to go up. Now, going up to one direction will be very, very possible on a flat earth. Now, let's look at this and assume it's a flat earth. Now, if Elijah was here, was here, and he ascends up, he will go this direction, this direction. If Jesus was here, and he ascends, he will go this direction, and they will end up above the sky in the same place. Now, can you see that that assumption was made upon the claim or as the assumption that the earth was flat because that was the, 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 the knowledge of that time. So more like, it's more like what we know is greatly a product of where we happen to stand in time. If this video survives for the next 600 years, definitely the kids are going to look at this video, point at me and say, oh, great grandpa was ignorant. They will point areas upon which I, am, I was ignorant in doing this video because I am limited by the knowledge of my time. And this, that surely makes this video a pure product of man. Just like the Bible is a pure product of man. Now see the Bible for what it is. Leave the old thing for the old guys. Come down, embrace science, and let's see how we can make progress for generations unborn. The more we waste time on fairy tales, the less progress we record in science. Thanks for watching.